Ah, uh, my friends, my friends, gather around one more time. I'm going to continue to tell you the story of Mass Man Raptor up to day four now. So, if you can remember last time on Mass Man, Mass Man, he had to poll all the villagers, ask them what their favorite fl flavor of ice cream was, record the data, and then graph it. And you helped him, so thank you very much. So, Mass Man took all your data, and he said, finally, I can start selling ice cream. I know what I'm supposed to sell. It's time for me to get rich to buy my castle. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. I don't have a shop. Mass Man goes, oops, forgot to build the shop. So before he can start selling his ice cream and start making all this lots and lots of money, he of course needs to build a shop now. He actually didn't know what to build his shop out of. So he went to uh, he went to the first man he saw. He said, uh, excuse me, uh, is your house built really strong? And then... He had a bit of a think, and just something kind of made him think, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't build my house out of, out of hay. So he went to the next house, knocked on the door and said, Excuse me, sir, is your house really strong? Let's stand up. And then something, something again told Matt's man, maybe just to, maybe just to rethink his, his choice of things. So he went to the last house and said, Excuse me, sir, is your house built nice and strong? And then he had a bit of a, a bit of a watch and he thought, You know what? Bricks it is. I'm going to build my ice cream shop out of bricks. But then... So he built his shop and he goes, oh wait a minute, that doesn't look like an ice cream shop at all. Let me just let me just try that one more time. So he knocks it down, builds it again. He goes, yep, my sh my ice cream shop is ready to, to sell ice cream. So he's going to, he starts thinking in his head, all oh, these wonderful monies he's going to make. Lots and lots of money to finally get his castle. So he works out to buy his castle. He needs to make $100 exactly. So he looks at his price list and... You might remember his lovely flavors he got before. He, luckily, he surveyed everyone and they wanted the exact same flavors conveniently. So he goes, okay, I'm gonna sell my chocolate ice cream for $1. I'll sell my strawberry ice cream for $2. I'll sell my vanilla ice cream for $5. I'll sell my banana ice cream for $10. Miss Math Man says, I'm gonna sell my spearmint ice cream for $20. And I'm gonna sell my bubble gum ice cream at a premium $50 cost. So Math Man goes, okay, I've got my price list. I can, I've got my shop, I'm gonna start selling. How much do I need to make this hundred dollars? But, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, Maths Man's actually not really good at maths. So of course, Maths Man, what does he do? He, he has an idea! Oh, wait, where'd it go? Oh wait, sorry, go back. So this is, uh, whoops. Unfortunately, there are no retakes. Ah, uh, so this is Maths Man's chart list, and he goes, okay, I have two questions to ask to make my one hundred dollars. How much of each cone would, would I need to sell to make $100? And what combination of ice creams could Math Man sell to make $100? So now he has an idea. Yes, uh, much better when it actually happens on cue when you think it is. Math Man goes, how am I going to work out how much of each cone I need to sell to make $100? And how much combination of cones I could use sell to make $100. Of course I, he needs your help to work out using this price list how much ice creams he needs to sell to make his $100 to get his castle. 